It's the Daily Talk Show, episode 907. Happy weekend, banter. GB's in the house. Sevs. Get fired up, boys. Yep. Uh, <laughs> play, play El Monte. <laughs> no, mate, that's before the show. Look at him. Well, Comes I never get to hear it anymore up. because there we go. Let's go. go. A bit of, bit of El Monte fired up. Well, that didn't uh, work. No, uh, no, no. You no. were doing, uh, you were sniffing your fingers before yes. you got on air, Josh. It's and not then you like sn- coins, but I think it might have been because I was playing with my baseball. Um, That'll do. Bodhi, it. the absolute little gronk, he was sniffing his fingers. Oh, no. <laughs> And I was like, what are you What's doing? He said, smell this. And I said, oh. what is it? He said, penis. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. No, but what he's saying, he's meaning wee wee. Like he's, he doesn't mean it like right. when you get older and you understand <laughs> what that could mean. But he's actually just meaning he got wee on his finger and now he's smelling sure. it. But he's an, mate, I tell you what, I'm just going to share this with you guys. It's going to come off my chest. Um. The uh, your torch that you gave me last night, Josh. Yes, yep. you had a little promotional torch that I mm-hmm. happily took off your hands. Thought this would be a great present for Bodie. It's actually going to come in hand for us inspecting Bodie's bum with the torch uh. to find. Oh worms. no! Oh, no. <laughs> we did this. So I haven't even told you. This was like earlier in the week. He was just like. He would be sitting at the couch and then he'd be like, ah, 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 and he'd be clenching his little ass and he's like, it hurts. And he'd be standing up and sort of like, think, think about when you clench your bum, your cheeks sort of you know, come together and he's yeah. pushing his hips out. Real kind of visceral response to these, whatever's going on down there. You swallow and a toy wow. car or something. <laughs> it looked like <laughs> it, but I got him into the room Got him, got him up on the bed. Amy's there. We're, we're both. It's a you know two person job. At this point, didn't have the flashlight that you gave me. Mm-hmm. I had my iPhone. iPhone torch. Oh, no. dude, I've been on the receiving end of the torch in the bum when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, you you have no respect for your mother at that point. So do you actually <laughs> so have to <laughs> open up his asshole <laughs> to see it? Well, you pull. You just you get him to bend, sort of like put his bum up in the air. This is the shit I'm dealing with, guys. What wow. are the instructions for Bodhi? Bodhi, push your bum up in the air and stop clenching. <laughs> sure. Well, so, is he standing Amy, Amy up? grab the cheek. Grab the other cheek. No, no, no. He's lying I've got down, the, isn't he? Yeah, he's lying down, he's but lying I've, got down. Cam- I've, I've got the phone. Camera. The camera. <laughs> Fuck me. Jesus Christ. I've got the camera. F- I've got the phone that has the camera on. The, <laughs> <laughs> I've got the phone that has the torch on it. <laughs> and dude, got him. Got, got a couple. worms. You got I a got photo? No, as in, no, no, absolutely not. You got a photo. Little white fellas. <gasps> worms. Oh, really? Oh, tiny, God. tiny, tiny little you things. You saw them. Wow. Size? They can't. No, no. I'm talking. God, I'm talking like picture a tiny piece, like a thin piece of straw, like almost like a pin size, pin okay. pin thickness. Oh, like a killer python. But, no, no, I'm talking real thing. I'm talking like a, um, I reckon half a centimetre. Wow. And they're just little. Okay. Anyway, the best thing is you just tell Bodhi, I'm going down to get you some chocolate. And then you yes. go get in the worm tablets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I grew up on orange ones, so I had no idea. Amy was always like, they're chocolate. I was like, I don't, I haven't had chocolate. <laughs> and um, anyway, I went down. I felt like I had to sort of like, speaking to this young girl working at Chemist Warehouse, I was like... Oh, yeah, you know, the the worm tablets, whereabouts are those? And then she comes over and, yeah, you know, she's like, oh, these are for two up so, like, adults can take them. I was like, yeah, look, my son fits that criteria. <laughs> you know, it's just like <laughs> You're trying to say it's not me that, I, yeah. you know. <laughs> anyway, it happens to the best of us and it got both. Have you, and he's, have you he's done good, the whole family good. now? Uh, every, well, I took one. family's taking them? Yeah, yeah, great. Yep, 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 yep. You didn't we do got a torch onto check first? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. no. <laughs> No, it did not. It's um, there's a definitely an age. What is the age that you stop the torch check in children? I didn't. Th- I don't think you ever have to. Couldn't you have just preempted? <laughs> ever have to? Yeah, the couldn't you ever have to do it? Just given just him, give him the, the chocolate. Like surely, de dewor- using deworming tablets or whatever. Yeah, look, mm. it's like this. I guess you just wanted to make sure. Look, I, I left a few Pass things on out the tra- of the story. Trauma from- 
from, from a few things New out Zealand of the story. Generation. Yeah. Um, I checked the. I checked when it first happened. Nothing there. Gave in the worm tablet, mm-hmm. and the next day is when I found them, and okay. we doubled up. And so this is like what you're saying, JJ. I, yeah, I, yeah. I agree. You could you just follow the protocol. Fe- How many worms? It, I only saw two. It's enough, two. though, isn't it? So you it's think it was crazy. biting him? No, they just wriggle no, around. They're just wriggling. They're just wriggling, and it's that's all. Very doing. uncomfortable. That's why it's itchy. Just wriggling. Yeah. Look, if you've um, famously, <laughs> I first talked about it happening to me. This was before I'd, mm-hmm. you know, done this to Bodhi. So you and I got a loosely, aren't you? <laughs> 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 it's on your and then I got a text. Well, mate, all it all it requires to be famous is someone sending you an Instagram story saying, mm-hmm. "Me too." It happened to me too. I'm mm-hmm. famous. <laughs> Send your assholes <laughs> to hi at the daily talk dot com. But the amount of people <laughs> slowly putting up their, you know, they're all just turning on their torch. Yes, I did too. That happened to me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cold play Side concert. Let's be on it. Everyone yeah, holding yeah, up a fucking yeah. light. It's yeah. all happened. <laughs> Everyone's had it happen to them. <laughs> um, cold play would be a good good uh, band to listen to. Keep keep you calm while it was happening. Um, <laughs> Sorry, what, some people really don't like cold play. Yeah, no. Which I love it. You talked about this with, just, with Andy Lee. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Andy you, Lee said they don't really don't vibe it him or they love him anytime mr 97 comes over i have coldplay playing i play do, the live yeah. version this is my go-to mm. which is song? it the go-to Cold, for coldplay him? in japan coldplay in japan are real great. <laughs> they've done a great job on that live version yeah anyway <laughs> can i just say you know what you know how there's like artists that say any big artist tours internationally mm-hmm. brazil uh, Japan. Oh, that's know, a good go, one for Coldplay, by the way. Going to sure. Tokyo, they, they, they're speaking Japanese, and obviously he's not singing in Japanese. But man, do they know his words and the lyrics in English? Is the is it is it fair to say that into like um, different nationalities, different uh, areas around the world get into English music more than say we get into Japanese rock? Or you know, like, mm. isn't that isn't that is that a fair assumption that it's like there's quite a few internationals, f- foreigners that love uh, English music. Mm. Yeah, I'm not because I put my hand up. I, well, I don't like I don't like necessarily not understanding. I can get around a Shakira song, J-pop. Oh. A J- I can get around <laughs> the tune, but I can't J-pop. fall in love with it. I need to know the words. Mm-hmm. Is that me just being ignorant? I should well, learn I Japanese. Well, I mean, the thing like we say that Japanese we, hip-hop. we quote things that aren't English. Um, you know, wah wee wah wah. <laughs> He's yeah, you got it this time. No, 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 you got it. Wah wee wah wah. Wah wee wah wah. No, you got it wrong. It's nah, wah wah wee wah. Wah wah wee wah. You got it around the wrong way. That was kind of uh, cool. It's a Borat reference, GB. <laughs> I'm well aware, but I'd, I mean, yeah. It's, it's not quite like very nice. Hardly 15 years it. old. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that they're actually using in Kazakhstan, they're using the uh, very nice yeah. as a tourism <laughs> thing? Did you mention this, TJ? Oh, that's cool. or who, who no, I did see it though. And I wonder, mm. if, I wonder if the people of Kazakhstan are like, yeah, fucking whatever. He's in person, you know, he's yeah. b- making fun. But it's a great external, so for us talking about Kazakhstan, like think about the worldwide attention, not in Kazakhstan. Mm-hmm. It makes sense, even if it's, they're just using it for external comms rather than mm. internal, you know, visit visit Kazakhstan. <laughs> well, GB, I'm curious, you're the guy who um, uh, likes comedians that then over time lose sort of... Uh, lose favour or whatever you say based on where the world's going. Chris Lilly sort of uh, has been pulled up a bit. You love Chris Lilly. Ali G, uh, you were talking about the other day. I watched Ali G last night doing a 2004 uh, presentation at Harvard where he did like their graduation. Eyes B. Yeah. yeah. And he was was really – he was making some fairly inappropriate jokes, implying that one of the um, the women in the audience was a cheerleader from a porno that he watched the night before, all of these different <laughs> things. And um, Brie was asking me, she was like, when, when is it uh, satire and just like um, sort of uh, 
communicating or um, what's it what's it called sort of representing culture and and sort of making fun of it versus when is he just being a bit outrageous what's your take GB oh god I mean this is a set I need to be very careful here um, <laughs> do you like, you like Ali because I'm such a fucking con- conservative he's <laughs> <laughs> I haven't um, to be honest I haven't watched much of Ali G Mm-hmm. Like that was sort of a little bit before my time. But I think Sasha Baron Cohen is, and I think he and Chris Lilly are both experts at the way that they uh, do their comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I haven't thought too much about it. Like, I mean, did you watch the, when he did Ali G at the 2000 and, uh, the Oscars, Oscars? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so he and makes even a he joke. Was like, yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, no, he he made a joke there around. Um, uh, he goes on stage, and because I think the Ali G character part of the joke is he thinks he's black. Is that is that right, JB? Yes. And so yep. uh, he, he his opening line is, "I know, I know what you're all thinking." <laughs> uh, what did what he say? Good, that's good. Like, that's, uh, yeah, keep it going. Like, like the Oscars have gotten another token black man to. <laughs> yes, to, yeah. that's so good. I know but what you're is, all thinking. There's yeah. another black man on stage as a token. Is that yeah. good? So it was actually yeah, was a good. dig at the Oscars, mm-hmm. you know, who have yeah. no, been known for being uh, very racially biased mm-hmm. as far as, you know, white white people winning all the awards and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So he was taking the piss out of them, but even he wasn't sure if this was going to go down okay because that was the talking point of that year's Oscars. So yeah. he managed to sneak in the Ali G costume. No one knew That's he was going right. to do it. And he actually ran into, um, who was it? I think it was Dave Chappelle mm-hmm. backstage. Yeah. And he, he said, hey, mate, I need to talk to you for 30 seconds. And he asked him, he said the opening line, he said, is this okay? And, and Dave went, yep. Yeah. Go for it. That's so funny. I so, mean, Chappelle's super edgy, like even back in the, the day. I think the problem mm. is uh, re- you, we can't retrospectively cancel people. When Ali G came out, it was of a time. Mm-hmm. You look at, you could, like, if you judge Sasha Baron Cohen's current content, it's all within, it's all on the edge. Yeah. It's all on the edge, but it's not over the edge. Yeah. And so you could easily look at that back in the day over the edge. Like, for instance, there's some president, these aren't even comedians, but um, there was some people in politics that didn't support um, specific things back in the day. They were vocal about it, but have been cancelled now, but they don't believe in what they were talking about, the policies they were pushing back then. Mm-hmm. And so it's a hard one because we can't go back and just go. I think Chris Lilly has brought it to the the line like mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. close in current times but looking back at his stuff when i first started watching that i mean maybe everyone was just more racist back then but or mm. it just f- he was dancing on the line as he always is and so obviously he's, that's beyond the beyond now like it, you can't go mm-hmm. back to some of that stuff but yeah, yeah it's 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 tough i think george you always go down the the their observations, their ability to see and understand everything. like They're, you, mm. they're your geniuses. You love com- I think it's a comedy. Think it's a comedy. Uh, I just think that, like, for those two people in, uh, specifically, their work is much more complex than than mm-hmm. it seems in most cases. Some yeah. are like Chris Lee, like Smouse, that's probably a bit too far. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. there's not much comedy. Uh, he wasn't the best character, to be honest, like as far as comedy went. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was, I'm not sure what the real joke was there. Like, I don't think it was that that clever. Um, and it it was like blackface. So you know, the, that's mm-hmm. you can't be doing that anymore. Yeah. Um, um, GB talking uh, talking about comedy. You came up with your own prank call, which we weren't able uh, to play on the show because you didn't <laughs> uh, have permission from uh, from yeah. everyone that was in it. Uh, we put out a call and we said, if you call the big media company phone number, it will go to voicemail, leave a voicemail, and then uh, GB will call you back and play the prank call to you. Uh, we received a phone call uh, about a week and a half ago. <laughs> I gave you the details. What's happened? Yeah. 
uh, called this guy, um, recorded it all. Mm-hmm. His name is Finn, <laughs> lovely guy. Permission? And Did you get permission? Got permission. You'll hear it in the right. clip. Uh, so that's all good. And yeah, yeah I think he, he really loved it. Okay, well, let's have a look. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Oh, uh, this is Finn Hart speaking. Oh, hey, Finn. It's uh, GB calling from the Daily Talk Show and Hump Day Replay and Screenplay Sunday. <laughs> how are yeah, you? hello. How you doing? Yeah, good, man. Um, is this okay to be recorded and broadcast? <laughs> Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. This has been this has been a day that I've been looking forward to for so long. All right, you ready, Finn? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Welcome to Seven West Media. Are you guys uh, going to be playing the ultimate sprint cars this year on Seven Mate? I did a video for you guys, or about you guys. It was about the the coffee. Uh, deal and it went kind of viral. I'm actually based in Melbourne, so you know gyms are closed. Yeah, sure. It's more of just like a off the cut, like just pro bono kind of thing. I used to present it back in the day. I was just wondering if there was any presenting gigs going this year again. Times are a bit tough down here. Don't have much work. Awesome. See ya. There you go, Finn. Um, what did you think? That was brilliant. Really? Yeah, that was brilliant. Oh, yeah. thanks, man. I was I was sniggering the whole time. Are, are people missing out? Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely they're missing out. Give them another chance. Let them, let them cool through. All right, they've got till next Sunday then, I reckon. One more week and, mm-hmm. then, and then that's the end of the very slack story arc. <laughs> well done, well done, well done GB. GB. So what's, what's the Sniggering number? the whole time. <laughs> uh, go to go to uh, Big Media Company's website. Just uh, search, search Big Media Company. Google. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you can find our <laughs> landline cool. number there. Yep. Uh, um, can, what a good, can I just, what a guy? Yeah. Go how on. much time of Finns did you take? <laughs> so this is the thing. I I called Finn last night at six o'clock, and uh, straight after that, I pretty much said, um, "My next question was, what's for dinner?" Now you talk about. Starting an interview with a good question. I said, what's for dinner? We ended up talking for 40 minutes. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> we, re- we recorded a whole podcast. Um, That's great. But he was a really nice guy. He, yeah, he just, he loves all the BMC stuff. He, he got around. He was a bit of a fan. And right. um, Fan of you? <laughs> yeah. I, I said to Josh last night, I was like, geez, actually... Feeling a little bit famous here. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying this when I when I called GB. He was on the tram and he was he couldn't be more obnoxious. He was he was standing at the tram, FaceTiming, saying, oh, "I feel a bit famous." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Finn! But, um, what a legend! Tell me another yeah. fact about Finn. What's a Finn fact from your forty minute convo? <laughs> well, he they run a pottery uh, company. And Mason, okay. you'll love this. I need, I actually Great. told him. I said I'll ask Mace for a pottery update. How's the how's the pottery going? Um, yeah, I mean it's dried. <laughs> Great. Did you have How, to? I haven't. Um, I haven't painted it. Haven't haven't used them yet. Did no, you go in a kiln, or was it was it? No, no, no. You don't you don't need to kiln them. You can actually just leave them to air dry. In so a kilns bit of air. a kilns a fast way to dry them. But if you want to, you can just leave them in air, and it'll. It'll harden. So what they need now is potentially like a coat of some sort of paint and then you could almost like glaze them if you wanted to go with that sort of vibe. Mm-hmm. And oh, there um, you go. just in terms of his business, uh, does he run classes? Is it one of those new hipster businesses? That so this is the thing. In? He was pitching segments to me left, right and centre last night. Was he? And he, he wants to do, he's like, oh, how can we do a pottery uh class segment where he'll teach us how to do pottery it's like oh, it's a bit hard a bit hard to like send clay to you guys well, he's, he's in dunsborough in um wa oh geez yes. okay he's in wa <laughs> mm-hmm. he's and then far away. so then he goes all right when sevs and grace come over they'll land in perth they just have to drive three hours down the coast to margaret river oh, go great. to his go to his um place and he'll teach you how to do pottery. 
Oh, if there's oh, one thing right. we need, it's more pottery chat from Sev. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. Great be, It could be that final, <laughs> finally that ghost scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah they got the wheels, <laughs> <laughs> and we oh, can do a awesome. live broadcast from from their from their pottery. I don't know what what do you call it? Pottery studio, studio, studio? workshop, little workshop, workshop, yeah, workshop, workshop. yeah, yeah. Love yeah, it. So great. That's what do you think, Sev? Yeah, great. Yeah, I love that idea. You will be probably going south when you go. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, we. I reckon we will be going down south. It looks really nice. It's like right on the coast. Oh, beautiful, like, mate! It's a famous surf spot. I mean, don't yeah. be careful of the sharks, but lots of wine. Probably, My mate know. Till Spilhoff lives there, so maybe he down can. South, you know, if, just, uh, yeah. in Dunsborough. Oh, really? Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, and so you know, there could be. Uh, Filming opportunities. We could. Does Finn know, need a video? We have yeah. some content. He, we yeah. can. <laughs> yeah, he wants to, and he wants to get into videos and making content. He said, Josh, that he's been living by uh, knowing isn't doing. Since oh, you've great. been saying it. That's oh, your, that's, 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 that's nice. So they've been. Oh, I thought it was a dig at Josh. <laughs> 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 that's got something to do. Do you mention uh, TJ's boxing or chicken coop? <laughs> 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 nah. I'm feeling attacked. And, he also asked if he could send in a script for Screenplay Sunday. I said, "Absolutely." Well, there's only definitely. two more the, after uh, today's app. There's only two more episodes mm-hmm. uh, before there the end of the season. Why is that so funny? <laughs> no, just send it in next week because that's Josh's turn to write. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to do, it, Mason? I don't need a write. You, you, you said you two were taking it. Yeah, we did. You did. Look, guys. <laughs> look, 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 look. I w- won't write it. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm not a part of it. Can the yeah. bird get a fucking? Can the dead the bird magpie. get a? Can the dead magpie get a cameo mm-hmm. in the final app? Yeah, surely. Magpie hit by a car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. An already oh, dead my magpie. last breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be the. Ow! Ow! My last crow. Oh, last. Whatever, however, that whatever they do. <laughs> anyway. Um. One more thing of interest, Josh. Keep which the you might pie gear for the yeah. screenplay. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go on, run out. He said, "Do you guys want any bespoke mugs, mate?" Oh, oh, it would be really nice to get like a hipster sort of. Mm. I mean, how would you? How? I, I wonder if you could cut out the Daily Talk Show logo okay, and apply it answer. to the to the mug. Oh yeah, I don't have that answer. But this. <laughs> What's your answer? Premature, GB. <laughs> there's a thing. There's a thing in pottery called the maker's mark, or in art in general. Yeah, and so what? Whiskey. Yep. And so what professional potters will do? Is that the? Is they'll go. Team? I don't know. Yeah, sounds right. They'll go when they go and buy plates and cups and stuff. The first thing they do: turn it upside down and have a look at the bottom center. Because there's the maker's mark on it, mm-hmm. made in China. And so, so Finn said we could get the Daily Talk Show logo as the maker's mark oh. for our cups. Oh, that'd be great. Um, but then that he also said, great. as well as our as well as our business. Did name, he? Did he? Yeah, sure. Okay. Caps pottery, uh, like a, a collab. Yeah. What's collab. the um, put, uh, what's an order a per for a thousand? Unit? What's a yeah, per thousand. unit cost? <laughs> yeah, because then I was saying, oh, Josh really wants to get the Diner mugs, and he I tried to explain what they were, and he wasn't following that bit too i said you know bit too like what do you call them commercially made he said <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. we can't we can't like do bulk mugs uh-huh. have, we could do a few because then the the price would come down to like 70 bucks <laughs> <mug. laughs> so, <laughs> well so the thing is uh uh sev's got a bunch of promo items delivered of different things that we could potentially get the daily talk show logo on and uh, Tommy came to my joint to work on a project a couple of days ago. And Mate, we were making out. Don't be. Don't we, we were about making it like it was a project. But, but the, <laughs> Our love's stronger than that. Uh, but there was there were, there were some things. You got your torch. Uh, you got the torch the, and a. Um, oh, I didn't take it. The, the yo 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 yo. I didn't take oh, it. No. So the yo yo was very good. So I was straight away like, really? yeah, have the yo go yo 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 go. And then. Tommy started using it and it lights up. And as soon oh, as it oh. was lighting up, I was like, give me that yo-yo back. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, we're still looking at merch opportunities. So I think, um, uh, do you say $70 a mug? No, no, I was saying that's what, when you wanted to get those diner mugs, you know sure. how they're yeah, real good quality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 70. I don't know what, they, what the unit price would be actually, um, but I'm sure they could do a deal. 
<laughs> Slow release. <laughs> Slow release. Depends how many we get. Finn's probably still George is, George is George is his Absolutely business manager not. now. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, at first he did George. say, I, they, he's like, I'd love to. Um, by the way, I think he's the son of the owner. So, you know, I'm not sure how much pull he has from the business side of things. But he said, he said we'd love to give you some stuff. I was like, great. <laughs> and he said, in exchange for money. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I like it. He's a businessman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a businessman. Now, that's business. That's sales. That is. That is. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I did say we'd send him some stickers, so I need to do that. Okay. Uh, he should work for I could imagine a door-to-door sales person being like mm. that. Like, you need Foxtel. Yeah, in, he was exchange, a good salesman. Obviously, for, for uh, very good. some money. Um, <laughs> uh, anything else you learned, uh, GB, about Finn? Nah, um, what, what was he having for dinner? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Oh, it was his it was his little brother's birthday, so they were going to cook up a storm. Oh, great! A storm. Mm. Yeah, but he didn't know what. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what they had for dinner in the so end. So the saga continues. Next week, we work yeah. out what Finn mm. had for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> could you I call know, him birthday? Yeah, you could call him. Yeah. Well, all right. Do you want to do that now? Well, do you want to do it on your? Have you got the connected to the roadcaster yeah. or no? I mean, what more do we need to find out at this point? I just want to stretch out the. Oh, it's just. <laughs> is it too, uh, George, I, I don't trust GB's ability to to call this phone up. To be honest, how are you uh, going, GB? Can we can we <laughs> not can we not ask him one other question other than? Yeah. Oh no no no, George, can you call him? Pretend we're not here and ask him. Hey mate, I just forgot to. So I, okay, I would yeah, love yeah, yeah. to know what I know did you're you cooking. Have for so dinner? what did you have for dinner? Just say so we need to do a pick <laughs> up. <laughs> gonna do a pick this up. is great. And so we'll stay quiet. We'll stay quiet. Okay, go. <laughs> and then hang out once and stuff. Hello, Finn. How's speaking? Oh, hey, Finn. It's George again. How's it going? Yeah, what's up? Oh, mate, nothing what? much. Um, I'm just cutting together that little clip that will come out on, uh, on, the, on the show. Um, oh, cool. What did you end up having for dinner? Oh, <laughs> um, I had ratatouille. Ratatouille. Okay, great. Yeah. Got that clean. Perfect. Um, so clean. <laughs> anything else? Uh, anything else for dinner? Uh, yeah, no, nah, all good. All good. Thank you. Um, by the way, can this be on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, sure can. Oh, great, thank you. That's, great. that's a relief. I look forward to it. Okay, cool. Thanks, mate. Um, catch you later. Yeah, catch you later. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah, yes! Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Well done, George. Oh. George, why are you so hard in those moments? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, what, I was, got, what was hard? I'm just, just, so red just, for George. I'm ah, sweating. You just... You, you, you just <laughs> You're on like a crazy delay there. You guys like, would both of you, you, you and Finn needed your own podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just you guys were giving banter. me weird signals like wrap it yeah, up, wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, it's then, so what if you didn't it, give mate. me? What if you didn't give me permission to use it? <laughs> Had to think on my okay, feet. Around, yeah, around. Right, right. <laughs> he sounded <laughs> like he was back. still asleep. It was still asleep, but it was three. Uh, he, he could have been. Really, he might. Have. Either way, Finn had ratatouille. <laughs> the case is. Closed. What is ratatouille? <laughs> I don't know. It's like rice and um, tomato stuff. Would you consider it a storm? I don't know if it's rice. Oh, actually. no, no, no. It's is like it a tomato stew. Or rat- of. Is it, are we it's saying it's ratatouille? I believe it's, it's a mouse. Stew. French provin- no, 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 provin- the movie. <laughs> stewed vegetable dish, guys. Originated in Nice. Nice. And sometimes referred to as ratatouille ni sauce. Recipes in cooking times differ widely, but common ingredients include tomato, garlic, onion, cour- courgette, uh, aubergine, courgette, capsic- courgette. courgette, aubergine, capsicum, and some combination of leafy green herbs common to the region. Sounds yum. Looks yum. Okay. All right. Well, uh, it's Weekend Banter. It's a daily talk show. If you enjoy the show, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Share it on Instagram as well. Tag us up so we can say thank you and share it across. Otherwise, enjoy your Sunday and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good one. See you, guys.